guys, it's Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about how I cleared up my skin and I, how I have fairly clear skin at the age of 17. And if you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say, hey, what's up? Make sure to subscribe, click notifications. It's a fun time. And also you can check out my social medias to keep up with me on a daily basis. So my skin has been a pretty long journey. Um, I'm really, I'm fairly happy with how it is right now, but that's why I wanted to make this video while I sort of lock down my routine, what I do. And it's honestly, guys, I don't spend hundreds of dollars on face products. Most of the products I use, like 90% of them are drugstore. Also, um, I am not super strict. I don't do like four steps every morning and five steps every night. Like it's very simple, but it works for me. Obviously it works for me, so that's why I wanted to share it with you, but it, it may not work for you. Every skin is different. So, but it's just an option for you to try out maybe. I have no makeup, no face makeup on right now. I washed it this morning. Actually, I put a little bit of um, under eye concealer on and then I have some mascara on, but that's all the makeup that I'm wearing and I'll do a close up on my face so you can see a little bit closer. Um, it's not perfect, obviously. I'm still a teenager, you know? But right now, I'm fairly happy with how it looks and I try to have that really glowy look right now. I think it's very healthy and so, yeah, I wanted to share some of what I do. And I would say I have normal to oily skin. I'm oily around the T-zone area. You can see the more glowy parts of my face, um, but I can get dry if I use too much of oil subtracting products. So honestly, guys, I had terrible skin when I was younger. I had, I remember having acne in like fourth and fifth grade when I was like 10, 11. And I started proactive Rodan and Fields, my mom's stuff, these super expensive products on my skin at a very young age. And so I don't know if that helped it because I was trying to combat all the acne I was getting, you know, when other kids in my grade did not have acne. And it was I was very self-conscious about it. Um, yeah, I have some stories. But anyway, I started having acne at a really young age. So I have been battling the skin for years. Even though I do wear makeup on a daily basis, usually six days out of the week, I do wear makeup just because I like it and it's fun to try out new products and stuff for me. And um, the fact that I don't have to wear makeup is very like healing for me, especially since I came from a place of having really bad skin and not feeling good in it. So that's sort of my story. Um, I've tried probably like almost <laughs> every like skincare line. But now I think I finally have my skin under control and it makes me really happy. So anyway, now let's get started on the products that I use almost every day. So I'm going to start out with my staples. These two products um, is what actually the dermatologist told me to use. They're very gentle, so they're honestly great for any skin type. Like a lot of my friends use this, my grandmother, my mom, and me. So any age, any skin type, and they're fairly cheap as well. You can buy them at Walmart or Target. I use the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser and the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. Very, very gentle, unscented, no fragrance, so it's not going to be... Um, irritating on the skin and the dermatologist actually told me to start using this because she was giving me a topical treatment um, to sort of help dry out my skin and she wanted something more gentle. I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I do not wash my face twice a day, every day. I make sure to take off my makeup every night no matter what. I've never slept with my makeup on in my life. It just grosses me out. But um, I make sure to take my makeup off every night. Some mornings I'll just splash my face with water and put moisturizer on it, call it a day. So I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't wash my face every single morning, but I would say five out of the seven days of the week I wash my face with this every morning and then put on this moisturizer. Some people like using a different moisturizer in the morning and the night, I just use this for both. So I used to use like a toner, a night serum, an eye serum, all that jazz, but like I said, I just use those two products. And then when I do get a breakout somewhere, I use this prescribed, um, acne medication so that's why I didn't want to call this video 100% drugstore because this was given to me by a dermatologist but basically I, what I recommend is if you have really bad acne um, and you find that those two products alone aren't doing it for you not just keeping your skin clean it's not going to help with acne you need something stronger go to a dermatologist it's worth the money have them like professionally look at your skin and ha and spend the money on one product a topical treatment instead of buying super expensive cleansers lotions all that jazz by a really good topical treatment to put just a spot treatment on those blemishes um, so it'll save you some money but you'll still get that amazing quality product if you have really bad acne so I love me some face masks and everything like that but I actually what I actually do is I love scrubs and I just leave the scrub on like a face mask so I have two a drugstore and a little bit of a pricier option this is the one I've been using recently from Lush. It's called Smuggler Soul Facial Scrub. Um, it's with bamboo stem and sandalwood, and I've used half of it already. I use it in the bath, and I just put it on, 
scrub, 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 you know, exfoliate, leave it on till I'm done with my bath, and then I rinse it off. And Lush also has amazing masks. I just find if using a scrub two or three times a week, again, that may be too irritating if you have sensitive skin. Two to three times a week, I will use a scrub just to sort of exfoliate all the blackheads and gunk out of my skin. But guys, this is an awesome drugstore alternative. I've been using this, my family has been using this for like six years. It's amazing. It's the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. I also use this on like my back and shoulders to sort of help with any breakouts you may get there. Um, it's like six dollars or something and it's amazing. So for makeup remover, um, I normally just buy whatever makeup wipes are on sale or recently I've been getting the Neutrogena ones and I use this to remove face makeup or like sweat after a workout, just something quick and easy. If your nightly routine for your face is just to use a makeup wipe, no, 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 Your skin's gonna hate you soon if it hasn't already. So make sure you're not just using makeup wipes to clean your skin, you're also using a cleanser. But um, I find that makeup wipes aren't the best at getting eye makeup off, no matter what makeup wipe I use. So for eye makeup, I'll use like a Maybelline waterproof one, or if you want a cheap natural alternative, coconut oil is like amazing for your skin. But this is an amazing, amazing eye makeup remover. Just put a little bit on, rub between your fingers to warm it up rub on your eyes, it moisturizes your eyelashes, makes them super long and lengthy, and smells amazing. You can buy it at Trader Joe's, Walmart, any food store. Okay guys, and then, so those are the main products that I use on a weekly, daily basis. I have a few other things now that I like to add on to these products that I find really help. One of them being um, using a humidifier or a essential oil diffuser. So you can buy these at your local health food stores or on Amazon for like, they probably have one for $20 or so. And then getting some essential oils, which are around five to 10, they can be more expensive, but cheaper ones are five to $10. Eucalyptus or tea tree oil, essential oils. You fill this up, plug it into your wall, let it go um, while you're in your room or while I put it on while I sleep. It moistens the air, so even if you have oily skin, don't be afraid of keeping this humidifier, essential oil diffuser in your room. Um, and the essential oils, with the heat of the diffuser, they're gonna get into your skin, you're gonna breathe it in, so it's from the inside out, it's gonna help your skin, and it smells amazing, it makes your room smell great, natural, much better than a candle, even though I have a candle burning, but it's a much uh, more natural way to get some scent. And obviously, it can't make a skincare video without saying the importance of hydration, and eating well. I have eaten terrible the past two weeks. It was Easter and I ate a bunch of chocolate, a bunch of candy. So I do not, I'm not telling you to go vegan because I'm not vegan at all. Um, I'm not saying that you have to only eat raw organic to have beautiful skin. Obviously that helps a lot. At least try to eat some healthy fats um, in your diet. So things like avocado, dark chocolate, really dark chocolate, like try to get it with it. the least amount of sugar as possible, but dark chocolate, avocado, nuts, seeds, um, get some antioxidants in there like berries, chia seeds, hemp seeds, all those natural, wholesome, yummy foods um, are really gonna plump up your skin, keep it looking yum, yum, keep it looking yum, keep it looking young, clear, healthy, glowy, you'll have that glow, you won't even need a highlight, um, and obviously hydration is essential. So guys, that was it for this video. If you learned something or you just liked and enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Tell me what other videos you want me to do, if you want me to do more informative videos. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out, stay happy, bye guys.